presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. Uh, awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. The TGIF, folks. It's making a great weekend. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. The human mind. It's like fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for words that come from love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 197, Nasdaq's up 56, S&P's up 26, gold. Gold contract down $2.40, trading at 1996 an ounce. We have silver up six cents, twenty-five dollars twenty-seven cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck ninety-three, seventy-six dollars sixty-nine cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up fifteen ticks, trading one fifteen oh six. The thirty-year up a full point plus ten ticks at one thirty-one twenty-one. And King dollar, King dollar is up one hundred eighty-six ticks, one hundred one six eighty-nine. The euro is at one ten. The yen is at 136, and the British pound is at 125 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, we're going to bring up the weekly charts here, folks. Let's see what we have. Because you're at the top of the range here. Okay, so daily we get a contraction, which would make sense after yesterday. Weekly, well, you get a, you, yeah, you, you get, you're pushing on this uh, swing with, with, well, with, it will be with volume, basically. Let's see, four, 390, well, you're going to need more, 390 to four, what's that? 458. It'll end up doing four. 390. It'll, it'll do four. So let's. It's too bad that the spy is pushing at volume. So that's saying that that 418 is still game inside of the spy. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. We'll do this same setup inside the NDX. And so that's 47 million today. This is taking the, the the high out also. We put well. This this the last high. Let's put it this way. So this here. And it has volume. Okay, so check this out, man. Okay, one second. Let's see. So we're at 321.86. Yeah, you know what? This is an ABC up. Oh, baby. Okay, let's do this thing. Three. Uh, 85. So you got 15. That looks like we got 40 points. Which is 349. Which is 330. I gotta get these monitors closer to me. Um, I gotta figure this out. Sorry about this, folks, okay? What's happening is that 385, the 321. Yeah, 15. It's 20, 25, yeah. You're yeah, pushing into the volume. All we needed is uh, on a weekly, you needed uh, 272 million. And we're gonna have we're gonna have over that. We're two sixty nine right now. So that's a big number, man. 
Gold, gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract out here. Okay, so the gold contract, 163,000 contracts, we're going sideways. This is pretty intriguing because of the fact that if we go to the dollar now, we take a look at the dollar, what has happened with the dollar is it, once again, this didn't hold price. You know, so the dollar got up to a price point today of the 102, 172. And bottom line didn't hold price, but this dollar looks to me like this thing wants to go. You know, when you test, when you keep pushing, pushing, pushing like this, I suspect it's going to go. We'll, we'll see how it shakes out, but that's what it looks like to me. We take a look at the treasury market and what's happened with the treasuries. The, the treasuries want higher price, higher price, lower yield. Uh, bottom line is that you, you get the. 10 years up 15 ticks right now, 115.07. Some of the higher volume equities out. Well, hey, let's go look at Amazon because Amazon came out with numbers. Uh, bottom line was popping up really nice after the close. You know, then it couldn't handle price. Yeah, this is still consolidating. This is, it, it, it was interesting about Amazon. You still got an ABC up, you know, because you took out the B point, you took it out with volume. The differential is that this was a trading on the full ABC up last night and then. They came up with the conference call and then it gave it up in spades. Some of the higher volume equities out here, when we take a look at it, is that, oh, First Republic. We've been talking about that. I'll get into that in a second. You get Amazon down uh, 370. We have uh, Pinterest up 444. You got, uh, let's see, inside the NDX 100. You get Walgreens. Now, Warner Brothers is up 4.7%, Intel's up 4.2%, Airbnb's up 4.2%. Taken away from it, you get Zscaler down 4.5%, CrowdStrike's up 4.4%, T-Mobile's down 3.7%. Uh, Some of the, uh, let's go to see where Microsoft, any follow through here with Microsoft? Yeah, yeah it will follow through, you know. Microsoft got up to the 308 today. It's the 305 right now. You have, uh, oh, Snap. Snap got snapped. We take a look at Snap. And what you have with Snap is that, yeah, this gap down a couple bucks. Uh, bottom line, you're at uh, 851. And so, folks, what's, <laughs> what's going on? I got to figure this out. So picture this. This is, this is a crazy, you've heard me saying I'm having a hard time seeing. Well, what happened when I was a kid, this is my comma, man. When I was, a, I got shot in the eye with a BB when I was a kid. And that was my comma because I shot so many people, basically. And uh, to make a long story short, what happened is this. I was blind for like uh, about six or seven months. And then it went away. But what has happened, and then I went in the Marines, picture, I was 20, 20. And then what ended up happening about 20 years ago, that it started opening again. There's nothing they can do about it. So I'm totally blind in my left eye. And it's really weird because I can't even see people on my left hand side. So that's why you hear me doing this. I'm going to figure this out. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. A Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 232. The Nasdaq's up 64. S&Ps are up 30. So let's go over. Uh, so we got to go to the First Republic Bank. You know, talking about this last couple of days. So this baby. So picture this. Just in five. Just this this week. Just this week, we just went from 16 dollars down to 360. So. I suspect, you know, I was talking about this yesterday that, hey, listen, you know, there's something else that, that's happening here that they can't put it together. Meaning, you know, because this contagion, who, whatever else is on their books, folks, okay, there's, there's going to be other banks that basically get hit on this thing. And when you look at it, it's like, okay, you, you've watched this thing. When it actually happened, the equity, you know, in three days was down 17. Well, well, picture, yeah, you, you went from, we went from 123. But let's say that you're even at 16, 17. So I suspect what's going on now is that between the banks and the FDIC, they're so worried that bottom line is that the, the place is going to go BK. And guess what? All of us are going to be on the hook once again. So the, the, I'm sure that the, the government's probably saying, the Treasury's probably saying that, hey, man, there's no way, you know, you got to BK these guys. And the FDIC is saying, hey, if you BK these guys, we're going to have contagion in about two seconds because, because of the fact that we, we know that there's still folks that have more than 250000 in the in the deal. So it... it it all has to do, I suspect it all has to do with the aspect that, um, you know, they don't want to bail them out. And they don't want to bail them out because of the fact of the aspect of the taxpayers. Once again, you know, the banks, when things are good, get all the profits. And then when they lose, it socializes all the losses. So we'll see where that shakes out, but that's what it looks like. Let's go take a look at the GDX out here. The GDX right now, it's hanging tough. This GDX is hanging tough. You know, it's 33, 33.50 right now. Um, this has been hanging good, man. That's the bottom line. This, this, what, what still bothers me, though, there's no doubt about that, is the dollar. Is the dollar, is, you know, you, you get the counter trend bounce. Because, see, what happens today like when we look at today, if we go to the gold contract today and we're looking at the gold contract today, what you have is that first, you know, the 
The dollar index was up 400 and something point ticks at the beginning of the day. You know, that would have gave the market a harder time. Then the dollar gave it up all day long. Well, even when the dollar gave it up, you know, we had a sideways move. Now, the longer that we do stay up above, you know, this 1994, the better off we are. There's no doubt about that. You know, we went down to the 1984 today, we rejected lower price once again, you know, so we'll see how that baby shakes out. We go take a look at the silver market, inside the silver market right now, silver market, yeah, silver market's in better shape than gold market, really, because, well, it, it, but it's more volatile, so the silver market's at 25.28, and 24.80 gets you in the lower range. We've done uh, 42,000 uh, 42, contracts out here today. Sideways move, no, no big move in general, that's what we really have. We go take a look at the, uh, let's, go, let's go back to Snap for a second, because what's happening there, this has been, put this on a three, oh, look at this, this is a mess. Yeah, uh, you want to see something, though, that, that how high volume lows love to get tested? We haven't even tested it yet. The high volume low on Snap is $7.31. You went to 840 today, you can see this. This is a wicked high volume low. And what's also happening here, do you remember, I've said many times that, you know when you get a downdraft, that's pretty dramatic. When you get bounces and you cannot take a swing point out, it's a huge problem. And this is how Snap has been. Huge problem. And let's see what there. Revenue wise, Oh, look at that. This is going down dramatically, man. So they come out with numbers. You know, they, they, if we go back five years ago, they were doing 320 million a quarter. Then, you know, about a year, year and a half ago, they started doing 1.1 billion, got up to 1.3 billion. Now look at this. They went 1.3 billion to 988,000 and a quarter. That is a monster, folks. And they're claiming they made a penny. Well, that's a big problem. And of course, you know, the, the reality is, is that, you know, and, and Snap, the amount of ads that they're putting in between those small rolls, you know, bottom line, have uh, probably stopped advertisers because it's so consistent, meaning there's so many of them. Tesla, we take a look at Tesla. Tesla's up 384 today. You're trading 164. That, now, that has come back. You know, the Tesla showed a sign of strength about three weeks ago. No, 10 weeks ago. A sign of strength comes back from the sign of strength. We'll see what that can get any juice. It's going to be interesting. Uh, Apple. Apple's going to be coming out with numbers this week, particularly because when we just did that, the Qs, the Qs look like now they're in ABC up. So Apple trading 168 right now, and they're looking to do 92 billion to the top line, a buck 43 to the bottom line. They're still growing in the South, Amer North America, South America. They're growing by four and a half percent a year. Europe, they're growing by four. China, they're growing by six, and the rest of the Asian Pacific, they're growing by six. The way Apple's set up, and Apple's going to be a big one next week, no doubt. And hey, if you want to hear this stat, listen to this stat. This is wild, folks. So Microsoft, is it Microsoft? I did this this morning. I put this in the den. What was it? Microsoft and Microsoft and Meta? No, Microsoft. Oh, my God. What did I put in the den? Anyway, I'll give you all six of them. Microsoft, Meta, Google. Um, NVIDIA, there's two more. There's six stocks, I'll, I'll get them, folks. There's six stocks that make up 25% of the S&P 500. It's almost unheard of. Uh, there's two stocks that make up 14%. So if you get those six stocks right, <laughs> I gotta see what I... What I put it put in the den this one. Thank you. Okay. Uh, um, 
you know, that's, that's about as intense as you can get. There's no doubt about it. We take a look at the, uh, the indice volume up here right now. We're running 490 million inside the NYSE. Inside the composite, we're running at uh, 4.2. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow's up 210. Nasdaq's up 56. S&P's up 27. We'll come right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials is up 204. The Nasdaq's up 57. S&P's up 27. Let's go to uh, Robert. Hey, Robert, what's going on, brother? Hello, happy Friday. Happy Friday, man. How you doing? I I'm doing well. I'm doing well, thank you. I hope you're doing the same. Yes, thank you. It's a beautiful thing. So what are we gonna look at? Can you look at uh Freeport MacMoran, the F C X please? Yes. And my my thinking is is it looks like it's um maybe forming a bottom and a good place to take a long position, but I just wanted to bounce it off you and get your thoughts. Let's take a look. Okay, so you get Freeport Mac Moran, the low is 24, the high is 46. You get a PE of 19. The next time they come out with numbers is on the 
21st of July, which they're looking to base to take in 6.1 billion and 52 cents to the bottom line. Now this is a monster mining uh, company, folks. Okay, um, they they get a lot of copper, they get a lot of gold. Um, okay, so let's take a look at this baby. I'd let this get to this. See this this has a high volume low, Robert, at uh, that thirty four dollars. Okay. And you know you can see you know when we went up. So so watch this. When we you know. The high volume low is laid laid out at 34. It made the run up to the 43, 40, yeah, 43, and the 43 was basically the lows of the last swing highs. So you come down, mm -hmm. you can see, you know, we had pretty good volume, like on what's that? Uh, that was last Friday, and then we had good volume Tuesday. And I, I know what you're saying now. I mean, meaning that you know you, you tested that low. That high volume low, and it rejected it. Now you you know you're going up, but see the contraction of volume. How we're going up? Six point three million. Even made a low yesterday with eighteen million. The high volume is like twenty nine million, and then the low, the swing low is also twenty five or twenty six million. So, so it, may, it may turn out to be a more of a counter trend bounce rather than a, a, a decent bottom. Yes. Yes. Now let's put this on. That's on the daily. We put this on the weekly. Yeah. See, see how it sticks out in the weekly? It's sticking out like a sore thumb on the weekly, actually. Yeah. In a big way. Now, yeah, when I change it to, I'm seeing what you have there. Yeah. Yeah, no, this, is a, this is a great stock, though, to, to get into. Time it's a great stock to get into. Let me see what the dividend is, because, you know, it's funny. This stock paid dividends when hardly any metal stocks paid dividend. I'm going back to the 1990s on this thing. Well, it's 1.5%, but, hey, it's, it's still, it's, you know, if you can get this thing right, it's, it's good. So let's, let's just look at the copper market for a second, because, so. Oh, yeah. This idea. is, yeah, this is a monster copper company. Yeah, seeing copper wants lower price. You're up. You're at 388. You're right at. Yeah. See. See these high volumes. Look at this. Yeah. So, let's see this. You're 388. Oh, I can't stand this. Three. 380 is the swing. So it's coming into you know where where we actually had strength. You know. So I'd. Keep your eye on the copper market. You can see how copper did the same thing, how we're bouncing today with light volume. You know, you did 55,000 contracts. Yesterday you came down with 61. We did uh, 65 a few days ago. You know, so most times when you're looking at that, that, that could be a small ABC structure down. And with this, do you, are you thinking, I've heard you talk a lot about, like, the gold and the correlation to the dollar. Do you think this would benefit as well if, the, you know, if the, the dollar started losing some steam? If if the dollar loses steam, FCX will go up. If the dollar okay. goes to that 106 area, right, on a counter-trend right. bounce, you will see the copper market get down, the gold market get down, as well as FCX, Yes. It will just, I think, probably a lot of things would go down if the, the dollar went up like that. Well, particularly it's, metals, because metals are yeah, priced right. in dollars. You know, so so what, the, the correlation is about as direct as you can get. You know, that's because what ends up happening is that the, uh, you know, it, when when it's going down, you know, even other countries will load up on it. That's what also happens. You know. Okay. And that's what you'd like. I mean, what tends to happen is that China, you know, when things are really booming, right? And, you know, I'm going back to 2011. How the, the, and that's when the dollar was getting killed, but China was buying, like, left and right, too. What happened is that China would load up beyond belief so that the next time at those highs, they could let those highs be. When they start selling off, then they start buying up again. And China's the biggest buyer of copper in the world, you know, so it makes a difference, you know. And what also happens, now this, this one gets intriguing, 
what happens is when you see the price of gold get as high as we are, right? Copper is a byproduct of the gold market. So what also happens there is that then there's more copper in the market because there's more mines that are opening up because when you're, you know, flirting with $2,000 in gold, you know, there's more mines that will open up, they'll dig deeper, you, all of the above, you know. But I think you just got to pull back right now. And, you know, it's down at that swing low, we'll see whether it rejects lower price. If it rejects lower price at light of volume, I'd bite. Okay. Okay. Do you have time for one more question? Absolutely. And, that, and if you don't, that's fine. It's on oil, USO. USO. Okay. So let me, I'm going to bring up the oil contract first, all right? Because that's yeah. what you're trading off, I believe, right? Oh, well, uh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's like a combination of no, me, I'm, let me, uh, let me see what it is first. Okay. So, okay. So it's WTI, delivered a Cushing. Yeah, so it's, it's oil contract. Okay, so we pull this up. Okay, so oil got slammed yesterday. Now it's rejecting lower price. Let's see. Well, let's throw it back to USO. Okay, so you're trading 67. Yeah, I I wouldn't be long this. See that? Yeah, it was a, it was the same type of question I was asking about FCX. Is it was yeah. to get the bottom here? Yeah, no, you get. I mean, see, see this? Look at that! Look at that volume bar, man. And that never got tested. It almost got tested, but it didn't. That'll get tested. Okay. Yeah. And that thing is down at, uh, what, 57. That's 10 points lighter than we are right now. Yeah. S sit on my hands. That's a beautiful that. thing. And have a great weekend, man. Okay. Hey, you too. Thank okay, you. Okay. Thanks, Robert. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 196. The Nasdaq's up 50. S&Ps are up 26. You have gold down 190. Silver's up 7 cents. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 196. You get the NASDAQ up 57. S&Ps are up 26. I want to show you this chart here, folks, because, you know, I talk many times about price, volume, and swing points, right? And this is... So this is uh, okay. Cloudflare. So the lows thirty-seven, the highs ninety-seven. This baby is getting smoked out here today. But I want to show you something because this is crucial, man. I've seen this so many times that you know you really want to pay attention to it. Particularly, you know, we're always looking for bottoms, right? You're looking, you know, you you have something that really, you know, gets trashed. And you say, hey, man, you know, I, I think we got to have something here. And in the context of when I talk about a sign of strength, and what a sign of strength is, right, is a wide price spread and accelerated volume, okay? Now, what happens is that when a stock has gets totally smoked, as this one has, okay, the symbol is NET. You can see, you know, this thing has gone to come down from a $271. Now, see when it's been making this bottom? You know, it, if you, if you look at, you know, basically how I look at markets, you can say, hey, man, look at that beautiful sign of strength that we came in and uh, that was in February. You had another one came in um, just about two months ago. In both cases, now watch this. This equity, when the first sign of strength came in, your swing point was 92 no, 90, yeah, 93. Well, when it had the sign of strength, it could, go, it could only go to 86. That's a problem, okay? Because what ends up happening, what I've found that when stocks are really in trouble, even with a sign of strength, if they don't take out a swing point and you're looking, you know, for some bottom feeders, that's a huge problem. Now, watch what happens again. It comes back. Now, when it come back, it did have big volume, okay? So this, this had a high volume low the last, prior to the last time. It comes up again, but guess what? It comes up again, it only can go to 72 versus the last 80. And then now it's, gonna, now it's blowing apart. You have monster volume up here. We take this back, put this on a monthly. Yeah, this is gonna be a huge problem, child. I mean, this thing here, yeah, this thing's gonna go down to like, 27 bucks and you know what, what I mean you know Basil talks about symmetry quite a bit look at the symmetry on this thing man I mean <laughs> that is just you know if you if we took the the middle of this you have two triangles that's exactly what you have you know and if you you know if you're you know it's really cool so check this out we have we have the NHL playoffs going on right and I'm sure that a lot of our traders, they use Fibonacci sequence, okay, in general. Expansion contraction theory, well, angles in general, right? And the, you know, these hockey players are so extraordinary, it's unbelievable. If you actually watch how they play, everything is a triangle, everything. 
and it's so cool watching the ice and how that you know hockey's changed dramatically since you know over the years and just keeps getting better and better and what has happened is that they're getting tighter and tighter and that's the game these days okay and, and if you watch it there's plenty of good games on tonight i'm telling you watch it and it's so cool watching how the triangle set up you know you can cut them in half you can dissect bisect them dissect them the whole ball of wax you know the one time is all of it you're going to see that every one of those deals are tri triangles and then when they're in the neutral zone it's the same setup if they're covering the neutral zone they're covered in a triangle you know so it's it's really cool man and it just shows you know, when I, you know, when I watch hockey now, I, I wonder, I always say that, you know, every single day, like, there's always, you can make everything always so much better. So it's like, okay, what's the next thing? How is that going to, you know, happen? But it seems to me like when we want to actually look at sports, I would say football had a huge acceleration um, baseball, they got more home runs, but I don't, you know, they were always pretty good. Um, basketball was always pretty good. I would say that, and I'm prejudiced to hockey too anyway, but I would say that hockey had the most e expansion in the amount of folks that are great, not just good. I mean, extraordinary too. You know, it's almost like, you know, I mean, I grew up in the Bobby Orr area and, you know, that was a uh, that was a long game of hockey, whole whole different a whole different type. Uh, college was playing you know the shot game of hockey, and you know the pros now are just phenomenal man, phenomenal. Let's go take a look at the platinum platinum market. Let's see what we have with platinum. We haven't looked at platinum for a while. So you're trading thousand eighty seven. Okay, this is just a small pullback. Well, platinum, let me pull this back a little bit more. PL1, put this on a generic. You know, it's going to be interesting about platinum, you know, if, you know, the, I mean, the, the catalytic converters always need a lot of platinum, and I'm just really, it, it blows my mind that, number one, you know, once it starts falling apart, you know, we'll see whether it ever gets over the price of gold. Yeah, this is a good setup, yeah. I mean, this this looks like platinum can actually make a run to the uh, 1348. Yeah, this is this is not a bad setup. This is this is actually a long consolidation, and you got to remember something: that the longer that you can cons you consolidate, the higher that. No, it's not only the longer you consolidate; it's not only the higher you go. The um, faster once it actually takes off once you know once it basically gets off the low you know you, you can really get some action out there we go take a look at uh, let's go take a look at uh, a couple of the south africans because they've they've been they won't give it back look at that i mean an eco eagle uh not an eco eagle anglo uh shante anglo gold is called now this was a one-way trip up and this also has Another high ball. Oh, it's right at it. So, see, this is a big base. This breaks this base. This base here goes back to 2021. Let me put it on a monthly. It's right at it. See, 26. This breaks 26. With, if it breaks 26 with gusto, you got 38 in the equity. And because of the RAND, you know, the, the RAND dollar compared to the U.S. dollar, you know, these, these companies in South Africa print money. It's 18 to 1. That is a huge number because you always got to remember that they're paying their expenses in RAND dollars, and then because they're in the gold market, they get paid in U.S. dollars. Dow, Dow Industrial is up 194, NASDAQ is up 58, S&P is up 26. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And Dow. Dow Industrial is up 212, NASDAQ up 61, SP is up 27. You're going to finish the highs of the uh, week, folks. And if we take a look at the Stats coming in. If we take a look at the SPY first, it's not bad volume, man. So that high volume high is still game, 418. He had 415 right now. Inside of the Qs, we get an ABC up. You know, so this bottom line, this thing wants higher, higher. Oh, look at the and the Qs are actually, they got volume coming in them. I mean, yesterday we did, today is 54. Well, we had 65 yesterday. On a weekly, though, that last swing point, you are taking that swing point out with volume. And it's all, it, see, it's always cool having an ABC up or down. The reason being is that you know your price projection. It doesn't mean it always gets there, but ABCs are pretty uh, consistent. And when you get this, um, you know, it's like, okay, we're, we're talking about in this one, this is a, what did I say? It's a 15. We get this again. So 25. Yeah, it's a no, it's a forty point A to B, and that makes sense because we're talking. Oh, I gotta figure this out. How I can't see. <sighs> anyway, I'll I'll get those numbers for you. I have to get, get those numbers before I'm on the air, folks. That's the bottom line. That's how this is shaking out. Uh, dollar dollar's still gonna run things next week, folks. That's well, the, the dollar's the dollar's running the market right now. There's no doubt. Dollar got to. Uh, 
You're at 101, 636 right now. You can see it couldn't handle it. Got to the top of the range, come back down. And it, see with the dollar, so check this out. You know, I was just talking about the aspect that you couldn't take a swing point out. Since the last high, where it did, it did take a swing point out when we got to that 106. But since then, the bottom line is that it still hasn't been able to take a swing point out. It gets close to them, but then fails each and every time. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great weekend, a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Wow! Look at him, folks.